Hey guys, so for our 100,000 subscriber milestone, we actually said we would try and do a project to fly like Iron Man. What? Now, as you can imagine, that's going to be a pretty expensive endeavor. So a company called Amino Apps actually sponsored it for us. And that meant we were documenting the project on their app called Maker Amino. There's a link in the description. Anyways, we're now able to upload these videos to YouTube for everyone to see. So, we'll be posting one per week for the next two months or so. So if you can't wait that long, don't worry. You can either download the app to watch them all right away, or if you're one of our patrons on Patreon, we've also posted all of the videos there. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy watching me risk my life for your enjoyment. In three, two, one. They are calling him the Tony Stark of Kitchener, Ontario. All right, you guys know the plan. I know the plan. Let's tell the team and get this project started. Guys! Guys! We got the funding from Amino Apps. Project Iron Man test flight is a go. Alright, so to help me work on this project, I've assembled some of the brightest minds from Kitchener. Actually, they're just my friends, but you know. Alright guys, you know the drill. I've promised the internet something stupid, and now we have to deliver. Alright, Ryan, I want you on legal. Find out if there's any laws or regulations that might uh, hinder our progress. Justin, take new guy. We're going to have to do some athletics tests to find out how we're actually going to do this rocket thing. And Cody, I just picked up some Kevlar. We're going to do some fireproof tests. Get out the blowtorch. All right, let's break. What's our solution with the ceiling, boys? Is there a way we can physically remove the ceiling? Right, can we, yeah, maybe. What do you think, Cody? If we cut a hole through the ceiling? Hey, Cody, how's it going? Uh, well, uh, very well. My expertise as a phrenologist tells me that this is burnt but still intact, and uh, how long are you going to be flying for? Uh, only about two seconds. Oh, okay, you should be okay. So, that's a... Uh, uh, that's pretty hot still. So? So, can we still make fireproof pants? Oh, yeah, totally. All right, let's do it. All right, so while Cody makes those fireproof pants, I'm going to go check on Justin and the new guy and see how they're doing. Alright, now in order to fly like Iron Man, you're actually going to need to be in pretty good physical shape. Because if you think about it, without the exoskeleton, which isn't done yet, you're going to have to hold those rockets at your side, which is going to be really difficult. Wait, why are we doing this then? You didn't think I was going to do it first. These guys are the guinea pigs. Alright, so we're going to use the rings to demonstrate stabilizer muscles because when you're holding the rocket, it's going to be quite similar. So, are you ready, Justin? Uh, for, for, for what? Ready for what? Oh, yeah, oh. Now, luckily, I'm an ex-gymnast, but I'm still going to have to do quite a bit of training to uh, prepare myself for this rocket test flight. Yep. So, Ryan, how's legal looking? Yeah, we're going to definitely have a problem here. Uh, the rockets that you want, um, we're not going to be able to get those. Why not? Well, see, <clears throat> the class of the rocket you're looking for is going to require a uh, hobby license of a uh, class that is... Whew, that was a lot of legal mumbo jumbo. Are you saying we have to be some kind of like rocket scientist in order to buy these rockets? Oh, you're at least going to need to be a rocket hobbyist. So, what kind of rockets can we buy? Well, without the license, you can get a G-Class rocket. G-Class? Well, that's only like 8, 10 kilograms of thrust. 8. 8. So, we'll need 10 of them? 
All right, let's buy 10. 10 it is. All right, so the tests are looking pretty good. Let's talk to our resident Scientologist, Ian, about some of the calculations we're performing to see if this rocket test is actually feasible. Yeah. How's it going, buddy? Well, I've run the calculations. So here are the knowns, and with this, I plotted your flight path, where you will accelerate upwards, reach a peak height of H2, and promptly fall to your death. Solving for the unknowns, we have an acceleration of 2.6 meters per second squared and a peak height of 4.76 meters. Unfortunately, real life isn't as simple. Rockets don't have a flat force curve and we can't ignite them all simultaneously, meaning you could do all sorts of fiery somersaults, which is exactly what Grant from Mythbusters said when he heard about this project. You're gonna die. I have excitement, maybe. Let's do this! Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We had a lot of fun making it, and we finally got to introduce some of the team behind the scenes here. Now, as we were saying before when I was talking to Ryan about legal issues, we were planning on using much bigger rockets, but we found out you actually have to be certified in order to buy those big ones, which means we're limited to rather small rockets, which means we need to use a bunch of them. Now, unfortunately, the smaller rockets don't also don't have very long run time, so it's not really going to be a sustained Iron Man flight, but more of like a jetpack or rocket boost. That being said, we're still going forward with this, and we do have a backup plan in our back pocket in case it doesn't work. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Ignition.